fixture and the stars of the Sixers rather own the head-to-head 13 to 7 and at the SCG it's a 6-2 advantage but there is some lime green in the house dominated by Magenta though you're into Sandu Edwards advances chips it in the air and caught brilliantly at short mid-wicket by McAndrew Philippi improvises right over the keeper and flying a long way. Who wins this favour to take second spot. Yeah, yeah. Philippi straight back over the umpire's head and a chemist warehouse fourth. Got to go about your business a little bit at times. Hughes gets hold of that one and it clears Sams, who's a long way in from that long boundary. Philippi advances. It's a long boundary, but he doesn't care. It's into the ladies. Going to hang around for a fortnight or, or more. Now Hughes with a long swing of the bat. That's the short side. And back-to-back -back sixes in this over for the men in Majek. They push the sweeper. Oh, you can't afford to bowl there. The short side exposed into the Bill O'Reilly. Put the pressure back. Flicks it and gets the desired result here, Josh Philippi. Oh, chopped it on, and that will bring up his 14th Big Bash 50. A lot of luck about that shot. There, Philippi. That's 52 off 32 balls. We've seen a lot of fours down to fine leg, but with a more conventional ramp shot. That one was an inside edge, but it was a tough start. He weathered that storm, and, and that's been an outstanding knock. To get that strike rate up above 100, and that might do the job. It's in the gap out there on the leg side. Philippi flicks it away into a gap, and it wasn't a very big gap at all, but he split. And out, McAndrew gets the wicket at the end of an expensive over, and Philippi is good. Full toss, and he struck that well. He beat the man inside the circle, and he'll pick up four for it. We've had some great reciprocal with Alex Ross as oh. a member of Kiyonga, and they, oh. they seem to get all the, uh, all the gun courses in Melbourne and Sydney, so... Reverse sweep time and plenty of space out there. He doesn't bother running for that one and the adjustment. The second ball of this over. Finds the gap though. Back would have squared as Hughes. And a chemist warehouse four. At the sixes. Pulled away, beat short, fine, and that'll race away on this SCG outfield. Full ball, and he beats the infield again, does Hughes. Back-to-back boundaries. And now he has his fifth half-century against the Thunder alone. 12th overall. Well, it's been a classy knock. Now he's got a free hit to try and capitalise on. Oh! It is flying all the way! Be in the zone for Hughes to go after. It is. And he finds the gap as well. All the way. Bang. Beautiful shots from the captain Henriquez. Right, that he's going to get four anyway. Smart batting from Moses. A long way across yeah. again, accessing the leg side this time and over the rope. Gets underneath it. Chance here in the deep. Green underneath it, and Hughes is gone after a wonderful. Uh, we're going to have to. We're going to have to be bang on, bang on with our lines and lengths here to. It doesn't look like a start. Finds a gap immediately, and that'll be four, I think. Yes. He has been. He's been with us probably five or six years now. Oh, yeah, there you go. There he's you go. Here. <laughs> Caught by Tan Beer Sanger, and a good breakthrough for Sam. And Silk knows what his role is. Well, he's not thinking about ones. He's going to go up in fours. Lost Christian off the second ball of this over, but boundaries either side of that. And there's another one on offer here. Silk, what a whirlwind start. Back from the hamstring tonight. Sam's around the wicket, and it's gone straight up. Sandu, back to back, oh. underneath it, and takes it. Silk gone for eight off three. Top edge. And that'll go away for 4-2. Face his first and last delivery of the evening. Oh! oh! Cracks it away into the members! If you don't mind, 197 on the board from the Sixers. A staggering score when you consider they were one for eight after four. The Maccas scorecard and Philippi and Hughes.
able to resurrect things eventually after the early loss of Edwards. Enrique, it's, his innings was quite stunning, 47 off 27. Played on emotion and not skill. Last game, Trevor Bayliss told us on Fox Cricket that their fielding was worse than poor. I'd love to know what he's saying right now or after tonight's game. This is the Macca's bowling card, and really they all got hit around aside from uh, a couple. 35 years young, width on offer, and able to get the outside edge going for an early boundary here, Alex Hales. Hales able to turn that one away on the leg side for an easy boundary. Third man's up. In the air and into that gap. No adjustment in the field. Flicks it away and he'll beat the man in the deep. And really tight. Bird bowling his second over and the lap is on. There's no fine leg back. It nearly went the entire way. Here comes Hayden Kerr. Oh, that'll take some catching. He's right underneath it, though. Big chance here for the Sixers. Early breakthrough, and Kerr has the golden arm. Moses Enriquez with a safe catch. Sanger trying to clear the infield, and job done to that short boundary. A couple of bounces into the rope. Last ball of the power play, and he's going long. He got that perfectly. Just what Sanger wanted. The return of Sock. Oh, yeah. oh knocks him over first up. Gets Hales. What a return for the veteran spinner. 60 in the tournament. Oh, yeah. oh, outside edge. Philippi holds on. It's a double breakthrough in his first over back for Stephen O'Keefe. Two for none. 20. Yep. It gets oh, really four. Yeah. Back someone like Sam's to, to play one of those innings. He's looking for the bash Going. boost target, but he won't get there because Abbott has been picked out, didn't have to move. And Stephen O'Keefe has three for three for seven off 2.1. And Sam's the latest victory. Hughes and Philippi. Yeah. Gave them a competitive total. And now Davies is gone. Second ball. And he gets a send-off as well from Sock, who's got four for. Oh, chopped it on. Dorsha strikes. His first victim. And there's no slip there. Carved away through a second slip region. Bubble. And caught at mid on. Brilliant effort by the veteran. Dan Christian scooping it up in time. And Sanger is gone. And, uh, yep, yep. Time for a little impromptu trivia. Who are the four men who do have 100 big bash wickets? Well, there's one. Oh, run out coming up. Whatever. Sandu was going back for two, trying to get Green on strike again. He's run out without facing Gurinda Sandu. Very surprised if Hads is with us next year. We get poached. Yes. <laughs> He's hit that well enough. Green up and over the offside. One bounce into the rope. Dorsch was closing out his spell. Into the gap as well for four for Sanger. The throw. Here we go. Plenty of hang time. Chance Six. on the rope. No, it's gone all the way. Well struck by Sanger. Into the gap and four more. Good shot. Good shot. Nice ball from Kerr and top edge right over Philippi's head. And Green's a chance to get that 50 in the final over here. He's on to 46. Yeah, yeah. Two is the cry to bring up the 50. Sanger's coming back. Well batted, Chris Green. And a losing cause. He can raise his bat for a first half century in the big bash. That's a good knock there by Chris Green. Big bash trigger. Catch it. This is catchable. And isn't it setting up for a grandstand finish at the SCG? <laughs> Green gone for 50. But out comes Mohammed Hasnain. Enriquez, he has name, <laughs> beats him with the bouncer and says farewell. Another win in the Sydney Smash for the Sixers who dominate the 21st Sydney Smash with the Scorchers well clear in BBL 11. A look at the match summary for you. Hughes and Philippi the Stars after that uh, tough start. Half centuries for both of those.